draft there. So <laughs> that is so fun. And I Oklahoma had a great one. Yes. Lots of Oklahoma guys getting into the NFL. I pretty, know. Pretty it's good weekend. Fantastic year. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and weather wise, I mean, yesterday it ended up not being too bad. So yeah, it was nice. Yeah, you were able to get out and enjoy oh, the weather. Of course. And for us today, unfortunately, it is going to be a little bit more mm -hmm. damp, but that is helping our drought monitor. So this is back in October. You can see that we were experiencing a pretty significant drought for a large majority of the United States. Now, fast forward to today, it's actually quite a bit better, but still off to the west. That area of the country desperately needs some rainfall. But for us here in Tulsa, we are just experiencing some dry to moderate conditions and the rain that we are going to be seeing over the next several days will help that. So that's the good news. So taking a look across the United States this morning on radar, we can see this upper level system down to the south of us. It will continue to lift to the north as we head into the next several hours, bringing us a few scattered showers and embedded thunderstorms. So right now on radar, we're dry. Just a few isolated showers starting to pop up, but at least it's a dry start to our Sunday. So if you are headed out to church this morning or maybe to breakfast, you might just want to grab a light jacket. It's taking a live look out in downtown where temperatures currently coming in at 64 degrees. Winds are light out of the southeast at 9 miles an hour. Our humidity is at 84%. Our dew point is at 59 and our pressure is falling currently. So across the area, it's pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. So we're in the low 60s and we are going to continue to warm things up into the 70s by this afternoon, but we are going to be dealing with some showers. So for today, just some showers and an isolated thunderstorm. Nothing severe is expected, but that kind of changes as we head into the beginning of the work week. So Monday night on into Tuesday, this is really where we're watching for the greatest potential potential for some strong to marginally severe storms and then we'll drop those chances off. But we are going to keep a slight chance around pretty much all week long to see a scattered shower or two. So our unsolved weather pattern will continue. So on future view, this is how it all plays out by lunchtime. A few of those isolated showers and thunderstorms starting to erupt, but then that kind of slides off to the east as afternoon highs today top out in the 70s. So most of us should stay dry and then during the overnight and evening time period, we are going to see a few of those more scattered showers and that will also linger on into the start of Monday morning as temperatures start off in the 60s and then by Monday afternoon we're pretty warm. We're going to warm things back up into the 80s, but we can see that cold front knocking on our door and that is going to bring the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms to develop. So here's our storm zone for Monday that is going to encompass a large majority of us here in green country. So really just be weather aware for the first part of the work week and then we'll have a slight chance for a few scattered showers throughout the remainder of the week. So today temperatures are in the 70s. Get outside and enjoy it because not everyone is going to see that rain, but then an unsettled weather pattern as we head into the work week 80s on Monday. Cold front drops us back into the 60s on Tuesday 70s for the middle to end of the work week, and then we are going to keep a chance for some showers and a few storms. Amy. All right.